Welcome to Rotor Ride. I'm Ladrin. I'm Bobby FPV, and this is Community Spotlight. But this one is extra special because this one is live, and also all of the videos in this episode were picked by you guys, the community. So I'm really excited to see what you guys have us in store. Another thing that's special is every video shown here. If your video is shown, you are going home with a set of Dominators and an Avatar video transmitter. Oh! That's huge! And in each category, the last video is shown, they get, they get the highlight, you get a little extra. Without further ado, let's hit play. First up, we have the creative category. We have Dad Bod, Dad Bod. Again, we saw him in the we saw him in the competition. We're seeing him here now. This guy is just all over the place, always killing it. Is this a stop motion FPV video? That's sick. Create this creative category is all about doing weird stuff. You know, not just your your normal FPV video, trying to see something unique. So we're looking for creative edits, whatever you got going on. I immediately I love all the B-roll that we're seeing in this edit. Super straight to awesome flow. Let's get to it. I mean, this might be the creative category, but this is still great flying, too. Super smooth. Oh, oh, wait. Was that a skid? Through, like, that was sick. That was sick. Skidded, rolled, punched through the bush. That was awesome. He got so close to those bushes. That was awesome. Let's go. I love all the random faces that pop up on the screen. I'm sure there's a story there we don't know, but even without knowing the story, it's funny. I'm loving the workout on the skids there. I love like the contact tricks, like that bonk there. Very skateboarding, you know? Yeah. Under the track. Oh, that was a nice combo. Oh! I kind of like the takeoff. Oh, that, the was, the that was a cool takeoff because I thought that was a 360 camera at first, the way it spun around and then it took off. Oh, you know I love a Supra. You know I love a Supra. Supra. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice editing. I like those cuts right on beat with the music. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. It's kind of like a freestyle and kind of a little cinematic edit in one with the car chase there. Oh, with the chase. We got car chasing, we got drift chasing. Please go between the trucks. Please, thank you. Thank Let's you. go. All right. All right, next up we have Medwin Drone. Ooh, that was a cool one. Oh, oh, he's a tilting loop. Are you kidding me? That's the first time that I have ever seen one of these. That is absolutely incredible. What's he gonna, okay. Oh, so he's like looking Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was sick. This is super interesting because okay. on the loop, I'm so happy to see this like head tracking and how technology looks looking street. That's down. really interesting. Let's see what he's gonna do with this street. Oh, he can look up too. It kind of like I don't know if you'd consider them different tricks, but if you if you think of it that way, it opens up like a whole new set of tricks. Like the way he was able to climb while looking up. You couldn't do that without this technology. This is cool. This is very cool. Yeah. Really smooth flying. It almost looks damn wise. It's really good, man. Excellent flying and definitely creative. When we when we set out with the creative category, this is uh, not even something I was expecting. So next up, rolling right in, Danzy. Super hot B-roll. Love it. You see so Dan cinematic. So cinematic. So cinematic. So cinematic. So cinematic. <laughs> Chicago lands and Oh! oh. Sick B-roll. Oh, what is going on here? This is like a this is like a trailer for FPV. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Next time someone asks what FPV is, I think I just might have to show them this video. Honestly, me too. This is really good at capturing everything. This, this is the trailer for FPV right here. What is that shot? It's hey, awesome. It's like After Effects stuff is awesome. Yeah. Woo! Chicago with FPV. Starting off with the one, the only Ciotti, the king of micros. Yes, sir. 
Looks like they got some micro drift car chasing, which is really funny because here at Rotor at Rampage, we had drift cars. So this is just that, but scaled down, which is super awesome. Yeah, he did. When he came here, that's what he told me. He's like, I don't even need to chase the drift cars, Drew. I got to chase drift cars in my living room. So what's even the point? No, this is awesome. I mean, he's really creating that vibe. It's, it's cool to see, like, it recreated at scale. Like, if you, if you squint a bit, it does kind of look like the real thing. Love the neons, by the way. Oh, yeah, for sure. Even got a little car bump there. It, it, it's weird because it does look really scale. Oh, oh there's no car getting under it. It's exciting. It's like this guy is making it look like Vanover right here. <laughs> Oh, did you see? Did you see the exhaust? That little back bars, dude. These RC drift car people—they get crazy with their builds. I mean, the neons are cool enough, but you look—he's got like LEDs in the exhaust to simulate backfires. It's super cool, and I love the obstacles they're setting up to, you know, set up for different tricks. He's got that thing hanging that he's trying to bomb. Absolutely sick. Thing, he's getting really close to those cars. It is, it is also really hard, by the way. I tried to drive one of these RC cars, and it's, it's, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. So shout out to the drift car drivers, as well as the Audi SUV. This is an Woo! awesome video, man. Oh, another Red Bull can. Remember, guys, if your video is being shown, you're going home with a set of dominators and a transmitter. And there is a 1S transmitter. So, Ciotti, I'm hoping to see you do some HD micro with your new set of dominators. Oh, yeah. I want to see this whole video done again in HD. Oh, yeah. What did I just, I don't even know what I just saw, but I love it. I think that was good flying, man. All right, next up we got Garter Rotor. Woo! This looks like some HD flying. What did that say? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a, oh, you like editing dog sounds. That's creative, too. I love it. Yeah, I love the dog sound design. Or, and then the ground shots of the dogs chasing it. This is really fun video. They love it. They're like, like what happens if they get it? I know we do. Oh, our house. Oh, yeah, our whole house is on here now. Great, John. Yeah, this is super cool. Like, I love the the you know going back and forth between the third person shots and the FPV. This is super creative here, and it's nice. Hey, it's nice seeing this in HD on the FPV. I mean, it looks pretty good. Like, you can see it, the that the HD feed isn't quite as nice as the camera that he's you know putting on the the ground. But like, that's pretty Dang good, man. Yeah. Considering the small pet. So what happens when I leave? <laughs> it's nice that you have dogs that seem to enjoy FPV, because I know some maybe not like it. Daughter Rota, I want to talk to you after this. Do your dogs ever get tired of chasing the drone? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got stuck oh, in the dog. No, no, no. no. <laughs> He's just running around with it. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. All right, the piloting was pretty good, but give it up for the dogs, right? right? <laughs> Next up, we have the cinematic it's category. So cinematic. So cinematic. So cinematic. First up, we have a metallic drone again. again? Are you oh my kidding? god, does he get this guy three? Is no knock it off. Oh, he's got that head tracker drone on there already. I get oh, so sick. Wow, what? That is next level. These shots are so trippy. I love it. Ooh, that was sick. That was sick. Yeah, he's doing he's doing stuff that there's just no way to do without the adding of head tracking. And you really have to appreciate the piloting skill here because again, it's just like a whole another dimension. I mean, you, most of you guys here, y'all are pilots, so you know when you're flying, you're like unconsciously moving your head around all the time. You can't do that with this. You got to be in control to the next level. Yes. Medlin Drone, I hope you got a chance to chase the drift cars here at Rampage because I'd love to see what you got here because we we're at the Nook and at Container Chaos, it's just such a cool environment, so. Nice, rise up at the end. Night Owl FPV, called this one Low Tide. Oh, I love this cruising. This is Trey Cinematic. I just love the water. You can see the shadow a little bit, the reflections. Very serene, like, it's cool how he's moving super fast, but it still feels very kind of calm, you know? It's mellow. Yeah, it's got the nice lines. I just put this on loop. Just put this on loop and play it. This is like just totally transfixing. 
it's tough to make stuff look good at this time of the day too. He's got pretty harsh sunlight. You know, he's not even working with golden hour. But I think the just kind of the layout and the way he's flying, he's making it work. He's probably got an ND filter on there. Yeah, it looks like you got some motion blur there for yeah. sure. Shout out to one of our sponsors for this event, Camera Butter. If you want to make your if you want to make your shots look this good, you know, maybe try an ND filter. Available at runnerat.com. There's a plug. There's a plug. There's a plug. Man, I'd be scared like a fish would jump out the water and like grab the drone. That, that fishes are known to do that, but we just leap out of the water. Just That's leap out of the water. <laughs> no, I love this. Give it up, guys. Give it up. <laughs> and I like the, the audio of the props coming back in. Like, you're in it with the jams, and then you come out of it. So next up, Dana Stallion. Uh, yes. Oh, look at that sick shot. That is some excellent use of slow-mo. Yes. Dang, he's getting under the BNX biker. That is awesome. Where is this place? Is this in Florida? Danish. Danish, where are you at? We gotta, we gotta, you gotta take me to some of these places. This is awesome, man. Really good framing throughout this whole video. That's the one thing that's always hard with these types of shots is a lot of elevation changes with the bike jumping, and you're doing a really good job of keeping him in frame the whole time. We got Manny, we got Vanover sitting on the stage. Vanover, what do you think of the pilots so far? This is amazing, guys. You guys are killing it. it really raised the bar for everyone. I think the best FPV pilots are here right now. That's what Rampage is all about. You guys are the best, not just because of your piloting skills, but because of the energy you bring here. You guys are what makes Rampage, Rampage. Danish Stallion, give it up. That was an awesome video, man. Next up, we got crashes and bloopers. A lot of awesome flying, but sometimes you need to see the mistakes, because mistakes are what makes us perfect. And it literally happens to us all. We have all been here. So first up, Nivik Edge, hope I'm saying that right. Starting off with what looks like a really nice smooth line. This is looking great, but I already know it's gonna go bad. Oh, <laughs> right on that tree branch. Who put that tree there? Yeah, who put the tree there? You know, fun fact, this category is the one that we had the most submissions to. So if you're feeling bad about your crashes, just know you're in good company. <laughs> All right, next up we got Whack FPV. I have a feeling that his name is going to be accurate to what we're about to see. Hey, he recovered for a second. Oh! Oh, 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 that was sick. That was the sickest recovery. Dadbot, Dadbot again with the inverted wall run. Oh, wow, he pulled out of it too. I like the music. It's very fun. Oh, 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 nice oh, oh, oh no. he stopped. Is he stuck? No. Is he stuck? Well, he got the footage back, right? Okay, he got it, he got it. There we go. Still a long fall, but he got it. I mean, this trick he's going for is so gnarly, that backwards dive through the billboard. High risk there. That was a nice combo. Oh, the battery! Did you guys, did you guys see, see that? that? Did you guys see the lipo? Yeah. Oh, we get the replay. I think we're getting a replay right here. Oh, he just got stuck up. Oh, no, he gets stuck up places again. Oh, oh, that hit right man. on the action camera. That hurts. That hurts. I mean, don't get it twisted, guys. This guy is an amazing pilot. We saw him in the freestyle competition absolutely shredding it. So, these crashes, this is what it takes. If you want to be on the level of dad bod, dad bod, this is exactly what it's going to take. If you had asked me if you could make the chicken dance song work for FPV, I would have said no. Dad bod, dad bod. Prove this wrong. Give it up for Dad Bob, Dad Bob. All right, the last category is good old freestyle, of course, because that's what we're all about here at Rampage. Doing good old freestyle and pushing the limits. Phantom FPV, give it up. I'm really excited for this one. Phantom has been posting a lot of awesome freestyle videos lately, so expecting more from him this one. Ooh. I just see I my don't mind know. is broken. Whoa. Oh, Big Maddie. Nice. Woo. Nice. Don't sleep on Phantom. Don't sleep on Phantom. This guy is nuts. He's moving with some speed there. I like it. All right, next up we got Storm Rider FPV. He was up. Oh, no. Nice 
Nice tire loop over that bridge. Oh, nice. Going to that ear roll. Another ear roll. Gotta love it. Risky, risky business over the glass there. Risky business, but just absolutely savage with the corkscrew. Loving it. Oh, I hope it goes all the way. He's just going, man. Dang. Batteries hate this pilot. So sad. Locked orbit. Time FBV. Oh, we're in a park. We've all flown parks. We got some grass, we got some trees. It may seem like a forgiving place because the targets are soft, but that just means you have to push it that much harder. And he's not letting us down straight into the trippy spin. Loving it. That was a really awesome combo. Trippy spin to Matty out. Amazing, man. Oh, more trippy spins. Oh, the trippy spin figure eight. That was sick. Dude, I, I just gotta say, these aren't even really good trippy spin trees. Normally with a, with a trippy spin tree, you want it to be really high. The, I mean, these trees are tall, don't get me wrong, but like, what he's doing on the trees that he's doing, it takes some serious skill. I like that cut. See it flawless, man. I like the location change. It really just makes it diverse. Oh, that was a locked inverted Jaspin. Those are so hard, man. There he is. Oh, he got close to himself. Woo. Doing flippy floppies in the flippy floppies. I love those big splitters and split S's over the trees. It just gets really close to them. Yeah, I mean, the tricks he's doing he has a lot of diversity, too. I mean, really technical, tight, snappy stuff, mixing in that mind-bending Matty Flip stuff, and then getting that nice, flowy split S. That's, of course, my favorite. And I love how he's, oh, that was awesome. Matty Flip with the extra flip. One thing I can tell about Ari, about Uptime FPV, is that he is very in control of his quad. All of his flips are locked. Amazing man. Woo. And you know, he won the contest today. Give it up for Ari at our uh, uptime. Hey, 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 Ari. Guys, that's it. This has been Community Spotlight Live. Again, remember, if you saw your video, come see us after. We got your dominators for you and some extra stuff. Oh, yeah. Guys, this has been awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ladrin. I'm Bobby FTV. And this has been Community Spotlight. Hey.